So everybody has been talking about soap crayons lately and how do you make them and lots of different people make it a few different ways, but um, we're going to go ahead and test that theory out. Everybody keeps on saying you can only use white. It has to be the low sweat SFIC um, melt and pour base. We're going to try all different bases today. I don't have any of the SFIC low sweat melt and pour because I'm frugal and I can't afford that. <laughs> we do, however, have some Wholesale Supplies Plus Clear. We have my own from scratch melt and pour base. And then we also have Wholesale Supplies Plus um, white base. So we're going to melt these down. We're going to put the colorant in here and we're going to put them into the mold let them set up and then we're going to do a little crayon writing test and see which one comes out the winner. So give me a moment. Let me go and melt. We're going to do these one at a time just so that I can really get it fully incorporated as far as the color is concerned. I don't want two of these sitting off to the side waiting, you know, if I melt them all and they're just waiting and waiting and waiting. I want to have even and level playing field for all of them. So we're going to start off with the regular clear. I'm going to go ahead and melt that down, and I'll bring you back in just a second. Okay, I am back, and I have melted down the clear uh, melt and pour base from Wholesale Supplies Plus. In this container, I have three tablespoons of uh, cobalt blue mica, and this is the Marblers brand that you can get on Amazon because everybody is saying you have to use the Marblers brand, you have to use the low sweat white melt and pour um, SFIC. So we're going to see how this experiment is going to go today. I've got some 99% rubbing alcohol. I'm going to put a little bit in with that mica, give it a good stir, and then add that to our base. Ooh, easy does it, Soap Chef. This is a lot of mica, you guys, a lot. Just giving it a really good stir. Make sure there's no clumps. P.S. and by the way, on my own, when I'm not like doing little experiments like this, I add the mica directly to my melt and pour base and stir it in that way and I've never had a problem with speckles. But this is how most people do it. This is how we're going to do it for today's experiment. Some people mix this with glycerin, though, and put the glycerin in there. However, I don't want to add extra humectants to this soap base that's going to be drawing in moisture later. All right, we've got this incorporated. Again, this is three full tablespoons of the Marblers brand Cobalt Blue uh, Mica in 16 ounces of the clear melt and pour uh, soap base from Wholesale Supplies Plus. We're just going to add all of that color right on in there. Try to get every last little bit. All right, let's give this a mix. What a pretty color, though. Put that off to the side a little bit. All right, let's mix. Gorgeous color. Love, love, love. Scrape the bottom, make sure you get everything incorporated pretty well. I'm not going to scent any of these. We are strictly doing different um, types of melt and pour soap base with the color. That's it, we're not gonna scent any today. We just wanna find out, do these right or don't they? Is it true that you have to use the Low Sweat SFIC brand of melt and pour base? I don't know, I don't have any. I used to, that was the only brand that I ever used to use way back when, decades ago, when I first started learning how to do soap. Of course, I started off with the melt and pour and I would only buy the SFIC. Well, now I make my own base, so there's nothing wrong with purchasing bases from other people. If you can afford that, go for it. I personally cannot. Okay, I think that's incorporated pretty well. All right, let's go ahead and just pour it into one cavity of my crayon mold. Just the one cavity. I'm going to start off over here on the left. So it's going to do um, clear. Then we're going to do my base. Then we're going to do a white base. All right, so let's try not to make a mess. Hardy har har. 
fill it right to the top. All right, very good. I forgot to get an extra little overflow for the rest. Little spritz of alcohol on the top, very little. Because like I said, we're doing 16 ounces, right? So we're doing the per pound situation. Everybody is saying to do the um, three tablespoons of mica per one pound of soap base. So that's what we've done. Every one of these vessels has 16 ounces of the base. And we're gonna do the three tablespoons of color in each one of these. And at the end, we're gonna do a little drawing test on a piece of paper and see what's what. All right, let's put this off to the side. Let that harden up and do its thing. Okay, let's move you out of the way. Whee! All right, next up is my own melt and pour soap base from scratch that I make. So give me a moment. I'm gonna go and melt that down. We'll do the same process over again. Hold, please. Okay, y'all, I'm slow today. I don't know what the deal is. Um, <laughs> I thought I pressed record. I did not. This is my own melt and pour soap base. I have um, put the same amount of cobalt blue mica, the Marblers brand that you can get on Amazon, three tablespoons mixed with some 99% rubbing alcohol. And then I've gone ahead and put it inside of this vessel. Again, this is my own melt and pour soap base. We're going to give it a good stir. And then we're going to go ahead and get that into the mold. And then our very next one is going to be the um, white soap base. So let's give this a good stir here. All right, in you go, buddy. Okay, good. Pour the rest into a different mold over here. All right, give a little teeny spritz of some rubbing alcohol, get those bubbles popped. All right, we're gonna let this sit for a second or two or three. Move that over there gently so we don't get any ripples. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and melt down the white melt and pour base. Be right back. Okay, we've gone ahead and melted down our white base. We're gonna do the same thing again. We've got three tablespoons of the cobalt blue mica, Marbler's brand. We're going to put some rubbing alcohol in here, get that all mixed up. All right, good enough. Let's get this into the pool. Get every last drop because this is a, a boatload full of mica. We do not want to waste any. You can already see, well, I can already see the difference in um, the color of this one as opposed to the clear and my own base. Same amount of mica, same amount of alcohol. This one is more pastel, in my personal opinion, than the other two. It's absolutely lighter, for sure. P.S. and by the way, in case you guys didn't know this, A, the big manufacturers of soap bases how do they make the white? Well, they make the regular clear melt and pour using the exact same ingredients. And then they just add titanium dioxide. So guess what? Y'all can make your own white soap base. Just use the clear or your own, whatever, and add titanium dioxide. That's all. I've done it. All right. Get a little spritz on the top of you. Okay. 
Like, I don't know if you guys can see this on camera. I absolutely can see that this is way lighter than the other ones. Okay, so this is the clear. This is my own soap base, and that is the white. So I'm going to bring you back when this is hardened up, and we'll give it the writing test. So there must be some strange phenomenon happening here in the facility because I'm watching the <laughs> monitor here. I'm thinking I'm pressing record. I see the little red thing. I see the counter going. To me, that's recording. Do you think that footage is on the camera anywhere? Uh, no. All right, we're gonna do it again. <laughs> cause I already did it once, but we're gonna do it again. So you're not gonna see me unmold it cause that's already been done. Anyhow, we're gonna go ahead and, and do the writing test. You can already see here, this is what I did on the footage that for whatever reason is nowhere to be found now. Literally just did this a couple seconds ago. But let's move on, shall we? Clear, this is the one that we did with the clear melt and pour base. Okay, this is my own base. And lastly, this is the white base. Okay, put that off to the side. Turn that around so you guys can see that. Okay, so here we go. Clear melt and pour base. My own homemade melt and pour base. White melt and pour base. Now, mine looks the darkest. However, mine also smears more than the other two, if you can see that. Kids aren't going to care about that. As far as the clear and the white, to my eyes, looks exactly the same. Let's look at the clear. And then let's look at the white. It looks exactly the same to me. I think that these are perfectly fine. You may get a little bit more vibrant color if you were to use liquid soap colorants, but the majority of the soap makers that I have been reading about all over the forums um, like to use mica, the, th the whole three tablespoons to 16 ounces um, of soap base. And as you can see, these write perfectly fine. You can see them perfectly fine. The only thing that I would say is yellow. Yellow's a tough one you know, to try to get out on anything, whether it's a tub or a piece of white paper, um, yellow is just a lighter color in general. So you may have to add a little bit more, but three tablespoons of mica to one pound of soap base, that's a lot. It's a lot. You guys are gonna have to charge quite a bit, you know, to try to get your money back um, and make a little bit of profit on these. But this was a really good experiment. So you guys can see for yourself, you can use the clear with the mica. You can use regular white with the mica. You can also use your own soap base, which is what I've done. To me, mine is the most vibrant as far as color is concerned. If you don't mind the little bit of smearing that happens, the kids aren't going to care, but this is a really good experiment. So you guys make your own decisions, come to your own conclusions, do your own experiments, find out what you like and what works and what doesn't. Um, in my personal opinion, I do not feel that it is necessary to go out and purchase SFIC low sweat white melt and pour base in order to get a product that works. These work perfectly fine as you can see. But you know what, if that's what you guys wanna do and you wanna go ahead and purchase the SFIC low sweat uh, white melt and pour base, go ahead, do what you gotta do. Do the clear, do the regular white, do the SFIC, do your own. Whatever works for you, now we've done this experiment, now we know, all right? If you guys thought this was helpful or fun or educational or whatever, man, <laughs> give it two thumbs up if you don't mind. Share, like, comment, subscribe if you'd like to. Hit that little notification bell over there so you can be notified every time we upload another video. But until we meet again, y'all, be kind, stay humble, please take care of yourselves. See you soon.